Take a practice quiz on this topic and download hundreds of free math worksheets at mathcation.com. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. This time we're going to be learning about solving one-step equations with decimals. The first thing you need to know when solving one-step equations with decimals is that you need to solve the equation by isolating the variable. That means what you're doing is you're trying to get x or the variable equal to a number. In order to isolate that variable, you have to use inverse operations to undo parts of the equation. So your equation is going to have addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division in it. And in order to undo those operations, you're going to use the opposite or the inverse of the operation that's in your equation. So for example, if you're adding, you're going to want to subtract because subtraction is the opposite of addition and vice versa. So if you're subtracting, you want to add. And the same goes for multiplying and dividing. If you're multiplying, divide. If it's dividing, you're going to multiply. And finally, the last step is you're going to want to substitute your solution back into the equation and check it to make sure it's correct. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. So let's go ahead and get started with some practice problems on solving one-step equations with decimals. Now this first one gives us x plus 4.5 equals 11.2. Now remember what we're trying to do is we're trying to get x by itself on one side and numbers on the other side of the equation. So on this side of the equation, we have our x and we have a plus 4.5. Now we need to get rid of this plus 4.5 because we want just x on this side by itself. So the opposite of plus 4.5 is minus 4.5. So I'm going to do minus 4.5 on this side. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to do minus 4.5 to this side. Now when I do that, the plus 4.5 and the minus 4.5 will cancel which leaves us with just x on this side. So the only thing left is this x. We have x equals 11.2 minus 4.5, and that is 6.7. So that's going to be our solution, x equals 6.7. Now you can check this solution by taking 6.7 and putting it in for x. So we're going to take 6.7 and put it where x used to be. So we're going to say 6.7 plus 4.5 equals 11.2 so the rest of the equation comes down then we do 6.7 plus 4.5 that is 11.2 and on this side we have 11.2 so this is a true statement so 11.2 equals 11.2 that is true so i know that our solution of 6.7 has to be correct Moving on to the second problem. This problem gives us x minus 7.4 equals 1.2. Now very similar to the first problem, except this time we have a minus symbol in the middle. Now the opposite of minus is add. So we're trying to isolate x. We want x by itself. Remember, we want x equals a number. So we have to get rid of this minus 7.4. So I'm going to do plus 7.4 here. And whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to do plus 7.4 here. Now, the minus 7.4 and the plus 7.4 cancel, and they go away. And we have just x on this side, which is what we want. And then on the right side, you have 1.2 plus 7.4. And when you add those or when you simplify those, you will get 8.6. So our solution is x equals 8.6. So that's the answer to this equation. Now you can double check your solution by taking 8.6 and plugging it in for x. So we're going to say 8.6 minus 7.4 equals the other part of the equation, which is 1.2. When we simplify 8.6 minus 7.4, you get 1.2 equals 1.2. That is a true statement, which means that 8.6 checks out and it is a correct answer. Finally, our last practice problem for solving one-step equations with decimals is 2.3x equals 16.1. You will notice this equation is slightly different from the first two. We don't have a plus or a minus in between our coefficient here and our variable. When you don't have a plus or a minus symbol and your number, in this case coefficient, is touching the variable, that means you are multiplying. 
So even though it's not written or shown, there is a little multiplication symbol in between 2.3 and x. Now we still need to get x by itself. We still want to isolate it and get x equals a number. So we have to get rid of this 2.3 times x. So the opposite of multiplication, this is multiplication, the opposite of that is to divide. So I'm going to divide by 2.3. So 2.3 times x, divide by 2.3. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So we're going to do divide by 2.3 here. Whoops, 2.3. And this little fraction bar, that just means divide. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that to show division. So this just means divide. Now, 2.3 times x divided by 2.3, well, that's going to cancel the 2.3s. And we're going to be left with just x on this side. And then on this side, we're going to do 16.1 divided by 2.3, and that's going to give us 7. After you simplify, you will get x equals 7. And then again, if you want to double check your answer, you can say 2.3 times our solution, which is 7, equals 16.1. Well, when you simplify that, you get 16.1 equals 16.1, and that is a true statement, which means 7 is the correct solution. And if you want to do some more practice on solving one-step equations with decimals, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of your screen to do some quick practice questions that will give you a grade based on how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if the video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.